So uh, New Zealand First MP, uh, Andrew Williams, will come and talk to you now. Well, thank you, Brian, and good evening, everybody. Kia ora. And it's wonderful to be here with such a huge turnout of people to support TVNZ7. I grew up in uh, Central Hawke's Bay, and back in the early 1960s, I can recall our autocrat TV on four legs sitting in the lounge, and we were one of only two or three families in Waipakarau to have a television. And I can remember in those early days, even then, looking back on and recalling as a young person uh, some of the wonderful programs that were coming out of, in those days uh, out of TVNZ, and uh, uh, as it was the NZBC, and, and remembering the quality of program that, that we had in those days. And then, of course, we moved on into colour television with the Commonwealth Games in 1974, and suddenly we had colour television in our lounges. And again, all through that era, we had so much good New Zealand programming and so many interesting programs. And tonight, we have the likes of David Beetson here tonight. Uh, we have Brian Edwards, of course. We've got Judy Callingham. Uh, we've got Miles Thomas. And we've probably got many other media people here today who, over the last three or four decades, have played such a huge role in New Zealand television. And these people are here tonight to attest to the fact that we have had in the past very, very good television. And you can remember programs like Gallery and many of those other wonderful programs which really did uh, get a political debate going in this country, get proper questioning, get proper uh, analysis of issues and, and have proper uh, investigative uh, journalism on our screens. What we're seeing now is, is a dumbing down of television. There's no, no to, you know, you just cannot deny it. We are seeing it dumbing down. You know, who in this room wants to see another cooking program? <laughs> Who in this room wants to see another border patrol program? Who in this room wants to see another police chase program? You know, this is what we are getting time and time again. And honestly, the, the politicians in power simply want to see the nation dumbed down. They do not want to see thinking New Zealand think. And when you look at TVNZ7 and you look at the wonderful programs like The Court Report and you look at Backbenchers, the many other documentaries, it gets New Zealanders thinking. People think, and I've watched some wonderful documentaries on TV and Z7 on issues that you would never ever see on mainstream television in, in this country. And my daughter, who's 23, does likewise. My younger daughter, who is 19, does likewise. And my son, who's 26, does likewise. And they enjoy it. And they themselves said, wonderful dad that you're going tonight to support TVNZ7 because they themselves as young people also say it's a crying shame that it's being done away with. Two weeks ago, Jane and I, my wife, we were over in Australia and we drove the Great Ocean Road and uh, we ended up in Adelaide from Melbourne and then we took a trip on the Murray River. And we were fortunate in the different places to, to be staying, to be turning on the television. And I just couldn't believe the quality of the SBS over there and ABC and the other programming in Australia. And it was a joy to watch. And my wife is one of the first ones to say, don't turn the television on. But when there were good things to watch on SBS in Australia, and when there were good things to watch on ABC, we watched it. Because it was almost like we'd come from this wilderness, the Sahara Desert, and we were seeing some very good quality programming in Australia, which we can only really in this country see in a very limited uh, manner on the likes of TV and C and very, very occasionally uh, on the mainstream channels. Um, interesting today, I saw a letter in the Herald that actually somebody wrote in saying, no wonder so many New Zealanders are heading off to Australia a thousand a week. And I, perhaps the gentleman's here today, whoever wrote the letter, but they said one of the reasons it probably is because there's better programming in Australia and, uh, and they're doing away with TV and Z7 here. So whoever wrote that, good on them. But but the fact is, we are seeing this dumbing down. And what is disturbing, and Miles sent me some information, is the fact that TVNZ itself is not releasing the information for us to analyse. And apparently, even though we've heard there's 1.4 million viewers and all this sort of thing, the likes of Jonathan Coleman, when he was the, was, the, was the Minister of Broadcasting, used a January figure to substantiate his reason for closing down TVNZ7. Now, of course, everyone's at the beach. They've gone off to their batches. They've gone to visit family in the South Island. They've gone wherever. And if you use a January figure to substantiate your reason for closing a channel, that's, that's pretty manipulative and it's, and it's pretty underhand. And, and quite 
quite frankly, I think out of all this, and certainly New Zealand First as a party, we will continue to be pushing this, we want the facts of this. And if there are 1.4 million viewers, and if it is only $16.5 million to keep the channel going, and if the Minister has manipulated figures to his own convenience to try and close it down, we want to get to the bottom of it. So quite frankly, we're standing uh, fully in support of it. The Labor New Zealand First government brought TVNZ into being when uh, the Right Honourable Winston Peters was uh, with Helen Clark in, in government. Uh, Winston sends his best regards to many of you today, particularly those that are still alive that didn't die during the election, and, uh, and, uh, and he's very pleased that you didn't, and that, uh, and that you, you, you were able to see the teapot um, tapes uh, on TVNZ7. But, but quite frankly, we certainly do, as a party in New Zealand First, think that if you're going to get genuine debate in this country, if you're going to get genuine inquiry, if you're going to get genuine coverage, you have to have public broadcasting, you have to have good quality broadcasting, and really it is a small cost in the bigger picture to ensure that we are an intelligent, good, thinking population. Thank you.